Back with Coach Mora, I'm Ava Nesta. It is week 13. The Huskies are on the road for the last game of the regular season. It's Connecticut versus Massachusetts. Coach UMass and UConn have a long history of playing against each other. Last year, you came out, out on top at the rent, but this year you're traveling up north to Amherst. What are your overall thoughts going into this New England rivalry matchup? Well, it's our second, my second year experiencing it, and last year was a lot of fun. Of course, we won, so that made it fun. I'm expecting it to be really difficult on the road. I think it's a good football team, and it's an important game to both programs, and I think Coach Brown does a great job, and um, they've got a talented team. And I I'm looking forward to our guys going out and just competing like crazy and doing all they can to try to get a win for the, for the state of Connecticut versus the state of Massachusetts. But these, these games are always, they're always special, you know. There's always just a little bit more intensity. Intensity when you're talking about two teams like this that have a history. Yeah, getting right into it. Last week, take on through four touchdowns to four different receivers. I know you mentioned that you want the offense to score more points, but what is the significance of seeing your quarterback making connections with a lot of different receivers on the field, and does that add versatility to your offense? For sure. Yeah. I mean, four touchdowns to four different players. That's that's a big deal. I thought he threw the ball well. Um, I thought there were some shots that we had that, you know, God darn, it could have led to, to more points. And uh, I'm really happy with the progress Taekwon's making. You know, one of the reasons that I was disappointed after the game in our, in our points is that I felt like we had an opportunity early in the game to put some, some big numbers up. And when you can put some big numbers up, I'm always of the belief that that's an opportunity to put some young guys in the game, some walk-ons in the game, some scout team players in the game that give so selflessly to the program, and you want to reward them by putting them on the field in a game. And uh, I think my frustration stemmed a lot from the fact that we weren't able to do that, you know. And, and there were so many players that I feel like deserved to play in the game, and we we weren't able to, to get them in there. And that that to me that, that bothered me. Last week, the defense added a lot of pressure to Sacred Heart. We saw some big plays from the defensive line with guys like Eric, Dal, Price, and Jelani. Jackson Mitchell said that the D-line made his job a little bit easier as a linebacker with the dominance that they showed. Is there anything that stood out to you about the defense and how have you seen them grow this year? Uh, I think that what stood out is that our level of consistency was much improved in terms of our execution and our effort. And really that's how you have to play defense. That's what good defense is. It's, it's, it's executing at a high level of consistency, it's playing with passion, um, it's playing with great energy and great effort, and, and I thought we did that. And then the next thing is, you know, get some takeaways. We needed to get some takeaways, but uh, our, our defensive line did a great job. I thought all day against the run, I thought they put pressure on the passer. Uh, I thought they made some really big plays, and I think, you know, Jackson probably says it best, it made his job a lot easier. Prior to a loss to Liberty last week, UMass was on a two-game winning streak. They have some solid playmakers on offense, both rushing and passing. One of their key running backs is K. Ron Lynch Adams. He's got over a thousand rushing yards right now. How do you want to see your defense build off of last week and translate that performance into UMass? Well, we've got our work cut out for him, for us. I mean, he, this is not only does he have over a thousand yards, but he's got over 700 yards after contact. That is an incredible statistic, and he's got. I think 40 explosives, which are, you know, amazing. And he's, he's just one of the better running backs we've seen all year. So we have to do a great job with our gap control. We have to do a great job of tackling. You know, this is a guy that runs through arm tackles. Uh, you got to get a lot of bodies around him and on him, and you have to do it with great leverage because it's a heck of a challenge. And, uh, and then they've got receiving core that can stretch the field and, uh, and some, some really good players on offense. It's been a long ride of the season, but you got that win at the rent last week. It was a great day to celebrate those seniors. That means so much to this program. But getting back to the business, you have another opportunity to go out to face off against UMass on the road in that rivalry environment. So coming off a win, how do you want to capitalize off of the performance last week and finish the season off on a high note? Well, we want to win, obviously. And for us, it's always a one week a one week proposition, you know, you try to put the loss, the win or the loss behind you and focus on the next opponent and have a one and no mentality. There's always going to be an added, an added intensity when you're playing a team that you're so familiar with, that's so close in proximity. You're always going to have an added intensity when you know it's certain players on your roster's last game, you know, in the Connecticut jersey and, and helmet. Um, 
So I want to make sure we manage our emotions, but when we, when we play with emotion, we don't become emotional. You know, that we play with great intensity and great passion, but we don't go over the edge. That we execute with it great, great uh, consistency and play with a lot of a lot of pride, poise, and class. Well, I'm definitely excited to get up to Massachusetts. The Huskies are set to face off on the road against UMass this Saturday, November 24th. Kickoffs at 12 o'clock noon. You can catch it all on ESPN Plus. But until then, Coach, as always, thank you so much and best of luck. All right, thanks.